Photoshop CS6 Extended has some really cool new effects that you can add to your 3D layer. The best thing about working with 3D in Photoshop is that you have all of your 2D layers and features that you can still use to affect your final composite. If you want to create a realistic reflection or shadow, you can simply add this effect to your 3D scene. Take this composite here, for example. This chair here is a 3D object in my composite. I can go ahead and composite this into the background or the photograph of my image. Let's say I wanted to add a shadow or reflection. To do so, I simply select my 3D panel, go ahead and target the light, and then in my properties panel, I'll go ahead and turn on that shadow. Now, if I want to drag the shadow or move the shadow around, I simply shift click directly on the shadow and drag my shadow around. And in effect, what's happening is it's repositioning my light. Of course, I can add and change shadow opacity or softness, but keep in mind, this is not the final rendering that you're seeing. If you want to see the final rendering to see the final lighting and effects, you turn on the Adobe Ray Tracer. I can render the complete image, or I can actually just render a selection of my image to give me a quicker snapshot of the area that I'm changing. So with a little bit of time, you can see that the render is going to be complete, and I can get my final object. Compositing 3D objects directly into Photoshop is really fun and intuitive now, and you have all the Photoshop tools available for your 3D layers to create your final composite.